All right, man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock show. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, I'm going to be talking about Playboy Cardi and Drake having beef. And um, this video is brought to you by Screwface Gene. He's a pretty big YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually did a reaction to his video when he was battling uh, uh, Knox Hill. That was a pretty good battle between the two. And they battled over the Kendrick Bees, I believe. Um, yeah, so um we're gonna get into that. He's he, you know, he's gonna break down why they beefing uh or from the song The Weekend and uh Playboy Cardi song. That's pretty fire. Make sure y'all go check that uh, video out that I react to. Um yeah, so look, we're gonna get into that. Before I get into that, you know I get my spill. This is Torture Talk. This is a clock show. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. Also, all the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. If you want to leave a donation, you can. You don't have to, but you can. Thank you for everything. Thank y'all for all the donations. Uh, for everybody that donated and wanted me to put your channel up, I'm going to make sure I do that. You know what I'm saying? I already did it for a couple people already. Thank y'all. They called me the Hidden Gem and went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, trying to reach a million by Monday. A million by Monday. Yeah, I said that. And uh, yeah, just let me know where you're from too. So we're going to get right into this video, man. Screwface Gene breaking down why uh, he believes Playboy Cardi and uh, Drake is beefing. So let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go, Screwface. So yesterday I did a reaction on The Weeknd and Playboy Cardi's Timeless Music video. And in it, I spoke to... It's obvious that Playboy Cardi chose his side in this whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar thing. Duh. That's the whole point. Now it's come to my attention that some of y'all in the comments section thought I might have been reaching Bruh. or thought, ah, oh, everything Bruh. I gotta do Bruh. with Drake. Now, I'm just gonna assume some of y'all haven't been paying attention to what's been going on, and that is my responsibility as a content creator who's been covering this whole thing to let y'all know. So in this video... Yeah, I never understood why people go against... Well, people could have their difference of an opinion. You know what I'm saying? But when people like this, Screwface Gene, who's been doing this for a minute and he has over a million subscribers, he obviously goes through and he probably does more deep diving than anybody you know what i'm saying him uh the other boy i can't remember the other boy's name in knox hill those dudes they're they're up there and they reactors but at the same time they up there with their content you know what i'm saying so so i'm saying so let's get it I will show you why it's pretty obvious Playboy Cardi chose a side during this whole thing, and it's not just a coincidence. It's about to go down. The first reason I'll point out is Playboy Cardi did not clear his feature on No Face. The Drake beef and Kendrick beef happened, boom. Now we have Drake pre previewing a song, No Face. He drops it officially. Playboy Cardi's not on it. The snippet was had uh, the preview version had Playboy Cardi on it. Playboy Cardi was not on the official release version. Why? People are like, oh, Playboy Cardi didn't release it? What happened? Then we had uh, one of Kendrick Lamar's friends, Hitter J3, shout out to Hitter J3 again, from Compton. He tweets a lot. He was tweeting saying, you guys think that my, my, my blood member, my brother, my brother, you think Playboy Cardi's going to side with Drake? Nah, bro, he's with us. Now, let me tell you guys something. This isn't a coincidence. There is a reason Playboy Cardi did not clear this. Now, some of y'all don't understand how um, features work, so let me explain that to you. Like, it doesn't work like Drake goes to the studio, pays Playboy Cardi for a feature, Playboy Cardi does a feature, and it drops. Like, the way that it usually, I mean, that it might work with unsigned people. But let me tell you, as somebody who's had to clear features before, as someone... Let me tell you how it works. Artists get together, especially signed industry artists. They don't really charge each other. All of that goes in accounting and all of that is handled behind the scenes in the record label. 
So what artists do is they get together, they link up, you know, they have a good time, they record a bunch of music together. They can do whatever they want. They can rap on whatever, they can do whatever they want. When it's time to release a song for monetary value on a DSP or something, everything has to be cleared. So the sample, the feature does not get cleared the day you record the feature. The feature doesn't get cleared the second day. It gets cleared before you drop the project. You drop the song. Every time you see somebody on a song with somebody, it's not a coincidence. He ain't lying. So anybody who is, the reason he did not clear his feature with Drake, but cleared his feature with The Weeknd, is because he's saying he didn't want to be on that song with Drake. Well, I thought it was obvious. And that brings me to my second point. Now, hit a J3. Now, that's, that's true what he just said. The, the the artists don't have no power. They just they just there just to just to put things out, but they have no power. And some people will say they don't want you to clear their voice on a track. And I'm thinking that's what he's talking about with Playboy Cardi. Let's keep going. Is somebody who is very close to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is from your area too, right? Yeah, yeah. Kendrick a real homie though. A lot of niggas don't know that. Kendrick been paid for homies' funerals, put money on homies' books. I'm on his album cover. The Pimp a Butterfly in the front. What? Uh, Wait, hold on. In fact, as of recently, Hit a J3 is the person that's been going at top five. How could I get this? What you mean? I, I want to squash, I want to squash top five and J3. No, no, top five and J3, I want to squash. For the whole, uh, the, talking about, oh, uh, he gonna uh, go at Kendrick and anybody who's out these videos and Hit a J3 pulled up. Hit a J3 was the one who tweeted, why would he clear that feature? So people said, oh, you clout chasing. And then a video came out with J3 FaceTiming Playboy Cardi showing that they were affiliated, showing that they know each other, showing that they're friends. Then Hit a J3, and I don't know what order in these events happen, but it doesn't really change what I'm saying. Hit a J3 also made it known that Playboy Cardi will be, it's rumored that he's shooting the music video to his all red song in J3's hood, which is also where Kendrick is affiliated to. Kendrick Lamar is from your area too, right? Yeah, still, to this, day, still to this day, he putting on, you know, for the section. Nobody ever been walking through yeah. the hood and but, see Kendrick. Yeah, nah. So these are all things where he's clearly saying, Playboy Cardi has chosen a side. All of this evidence is there, all of this, you can look at it right now, it's still up. And my next reason is doing a feature with The Weeknd, period. Let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all want to say things to me like not everything is about this beef, not everything's about this battle. And I and I understand to some of y'all, this is the first time y'all have been in a beef. Now, here's the thing, and I said this before. The, the real beef, the real beef, is between The Weeknd and Drake. That's the real beef. That's the one that Drake wants to take down. And he's never going to do that. It's The Weeknd is so far gone now. It's not going to happen. But that's the guy. He's the one that Drake wants to really take down. I know the whole thing with Kendrick, but it's The Weeknd. Drake could try to say whatever he want, but he despises The Weeknd because... The weekend didn't sign to his label. And he pretend, they pretend to be cool. They pretend it. It's my brother right here. Blah, 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 blah. Nah. The weekend is the one. And the weekend, no, he do not for Drake. And Drake knows this. If that was like a hip hop war. Let me just rewind a little bit. The era where Tupac and Biggie were battling. If you did a feature. If you were on Tupac's side or Biggie's side, you were there. That's why eventually Tupac was dissing Mob Deep, was dissing Jay-Z, was dissing a lot of people. 50 Cent and Ja Rule. 50 Cent went at Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, anybody who was doing anything to help uh, uh, Ja Rule because it was a war. And let me tell you the two things that those beefs have in common. Blicky play. Now, 
Let me just tell y'all something, and you could just disagree with me all you want. I'm going to tell you a fact right now. As a rapper, as someone who's been in beefs, as someone who's, let me tell you something. First of all, the weekend and OVO, there's rumors that there's been blicky play on both sides. Let me tell you guys something. Anybody who's working with The Weeknd or Kendrick Lamar right now is Drake's op. And Drake's gonna take it that way. Obvious. That's why that top five dude said he's going to look at the footage from the Not Like Us video and the pop-off show and he's gonna try to correct everybody on there. If you guys don't know this, maybe you don't know, OVO 100% is beefing with niggas who are helping Kendrick or The weekend at this time. And I fully understand it and I fully get it. This isn't just a regular beef. Niggas have called this man a whole pedo. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. Playboy Cardi even doing that feature was a him drawing his line in the sands. Trust me. Everything up to this point, some of y'all might have missed. And I don't understand it, right? Because you just weren't paying attention. And I also had comments like people being like, don't worry. Uh, I mean, these a lot of these comments is just like Stan bot comments because this, this isn't even a weird take. So I, I, I'm not going to assume all of them were, but to the ones who were, come on now. After I did the reaction, and it's almost like the universe was just like, nah, nigga, go ahead. Here's your proof. Hours after I dropped my reaction, which is, a, I think, a day after The weekend dropped the visual, Drake unfollowed a lot of people. Let's go down the list, shall we? Drake unfollowed Kendrick Lamar, Playboy Cardi, Rick Ross, LeBron James, DeMar DeRozan, and Joe Budden. What do those people have all in common? I know some of y'all might might have skipped uh, kindergarten and, and preschool and first and second and third. <laughs> Why would you follow in Kendrick anyway, nigga? <laughs> you following both of Kendrick's accounts. That's crazy. <laughs> and don't understand how to see patterns. October is Drake's birthday month, right? So clearly he's doing some sort of cleanse and let me just help y'all for all y'all who don't get it. Everybody that was listed in this, in this unfollowing are all people who Drake clearly has beef with and clearly from this Kendrick versus Drake battle. So why would Playboy Cardi be on that list if they didn't have problems? Well, we're waiting. And now that he's unfollowed him, I know some of y'all are going to be like, oh, screw was right. Or some of y'all are just going to, your ego's not going to allow you to say that. But it's okay. It's okay. I still love you. It's fine. But at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody in the comments says after this. I've been in this culture my whole life. You could agree to disagree with me, but sometimes, my nigga, you just dead wrong. And it's not an opinion. Sometimes I could be wrong, too. I'm not infallible. But this time, I wasn't. So just enjoy the commentary of this battle. You can have debates. You can have different takes to me. Keep it respectful. If not, be mad, I guess. Man! Mm. Great video, man. Great video. Screw face. Great video. Yeah, man. I always feel like, like, uh, all these people having problems with Drake for a reason. And the walls is closing in on the man, Drake. He really ain't got nothing to say. I think at this point, I mean, at this point, it's really nothing he can do. You know, the whole industry is basically against him. I mean, you got some people that's still going to ride with him, but for the most part, he's been tainted and, Kendrick did a number on him. Now, him beefing with Playboy Cardi, I mean, I guess, I don't know if that's really that big of a deal for Drake. I guess not. But The weekend, that's something different because that's that's a big deal. Weekend's a big deal. And, um, yeah, Weekend and Drake had issues for a long time. And, then, I mean, we're just going to say, 
I think that that's some of the some of the words in that song. He, he coming at Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That just that's what I believe. Is that from from PTSD? I guess after the war, you know, he's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Post traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> you should cut your wrist. <laughs> ah man, who else could he be talking about? You know what I mean? So. Either way, man, it's the 6 o'clock show. See y'all in the morning, man. Have a good night. All right, man. I don't know what I'm going to make. Maybe some spaghetti or something. <laughs>